Another way of altering lettering is by changing the baseline. The default baseline is called free line, and it is lettering placed on a horizontal line. You can change this baseline in many different ways. One way you can change it is to have arc lettering either above a circle or below a circle. With the lettering selected, I can click on circle CW and apply the lettering, and the lettering is arced above a circle. Or I can select circle CCW, click on apply, and the lettering is arced below a circle. I can also create a circle by typing in the text and selecting either circle CW or circle CCW, clicking apply, click in the center of the circle, drag to the right to create your circle, click again and press enter. By changing the baseline radius and making it a higher number and clicking apply, the lettering can be flattened. I can also type in my lettering, select one of the circle baselines, click on apply and draw an oval by clicking in the center, dragging to the circumference of the circle, clicking, and then dragging to form an oval shape. Click again, and the lettering is going to be formed in an arc below. Baseline radius is not available when you draw an oval. It is only for when you draw a circle. Yet another way is any shape baseline. Once again, type your lettering inside the box, select the baseline, and click Apply. Any shape baseline is used when you want to draw the path you wish the letters to follow. Type your phrase, then begin drawing a line with right or left clicks to dictate the path the letters will follow. Be careful when you use left clicks as they will form peaks in the paths and the letters may overlap. Also, you want to make a gentle line. Of course, they can be edited if you don't like the result. By pressing Enter, the lettering is generated along the path that you drew. The free line vertical baseline places the lettering in a vertical direction. Generally, you will want to increase the letter spacing and also use all caps because it makes the lettering easier to read. Type your text, select the free line vertical, click apply, and then click on screen to generate the lettering. While the lettering is selected, you can increase this letter spacing and then click apply. And you can see that that makes the lettering easier to read. The sixth type of baseline is called the predefined baseline. This is used to arc lettering above and below the center. The center can be a design or it can be another line of lettering. If you wish to have three lines of lettering, you'll press enter after each word to put the words on three different lines. Select predefined, click apply, and then click in the center, drag to the circumference, click again, and then if you want your lettering in a more oval shape, you can click once again, and the lettering will be generated so that the, the top word is arced above the circle, the bottom is arced below the circle, any word on the second line is going to be in the center. The predefined baseline is also nice to use with a design in the center. Type in your text, pressing enter twice after the first word or phrase. That bypasses the second line of lettering, and then the third line of lettering is added. Select predefined, click OK, click in the center of the design, drag to a circle, click again, and either press enter or drag to form an oval shape. Click again and the lettering is generated above and below the design. Have fun experimenting with all the different baselines for lettering.